Welcome to my channel. Today we will be removing Citroen Relay Alternator. The first step is to remove the alternator cable using 13mm, but before you do so make sure you disconnect the negative lead on the battery. Citroen Relay engine fits to many makes and models such as Ford Transit, Peugeot Boxer, and Fiat Ducata, however the removal procedure is the same. The next step is to remove the alternator connector. This step is simple, however you would be working on a very tight area and I couldn't get my phone to where I wanted to record it, however it is a two-pin connector plug. It would be easier to remove the connector plug from the top of the engine, as you would have more space. You would then need to remove the drive belt. The diagram of the belt is as shown. To remove the belt, you would need to loosen the belt tensioner using half-inch ratchet. The tensioner is located between the air conditioner, pump and crankshaft pulley. You would need to insert the ratchet to the tensioner and turn it clockwise until the belt is loosened. It is then you can remove the belt. You would need to keep hold of the tensioner pulley while removing the belt, as there would be a kickback of the tensioner. Once you remove the belt, you can release the tensioner pulley. Finally, there are three 13mm bolts that needs to be removed. There are two at the bottom and one at the top. Once again, the alternators are paying in the arse to remove due to the fact that there are limited space to work on. If you have time in your hand, I would advise you to remove the front of your vehicle to have a larger area to work on. You can use a ratchet or a power tool to remove the bolts as there can be stubborn buggers. You can also use lubricants such as WD-40. Your alternator supplies your car's battery and auxiliary systems with electrical current and a failed alternator left alone will eventually leave you with a dead battery. When it comes to removing the last bolt, be careful to not injure yourself as there is nothing else holding the alternator. To understand whether you have a faulty alternator or a battery would be if your engine starts and stays running but won't start again later. It's likely a battery problem. If your vehicle immediately stalls, it's probably a bad alternator. I found it easier to remove the alternator from the bottom of the engine. However, depending on whether you have removed other auxiliaries from the top part of the engine, you may find it easier to remove it from the top. One of the most common questions asked are, can your vehicle run with a bad alternator? A car can only run for a very short time with a failed alternator. This is because the alternator charges the battery when the engine is running. Once the battery is depleted, the vehicle will die and fail to restart. You have successfully removed your alternator. Thank you for watching. If you did like the video, please make sure to comment, like and subscribe.